coming in from the east of Birmingham. We've come off near the airport by the NEC and just headed into the centre. We're off to get some hydrogen. So we're heading in. Dark, wet, slightly rainy night. And hopefully we're going to get some hydrogen because we haven't got enough hydrogen on board to get us back. So we're either going to get some hydrogen tonight or we're going to stay in a hotel somewhere in Birmingham tonight. So uh, kind of keen to get back home though. So much as it looks like it, we're not going to get a KFC drive through come up to the big Asda roundabout and we take the, the second exit. So our second exit and then very quickly after that we turn off left. This is the voice of experience. Somebody may have shot past this on a previous visit. So just coming up here you turn off left. go and it's into the big recycling centers and the key thing it's called the Tysley Energy Park. So there you are, big incinerator there, Viola's finest and then you go off to the left, ITM Power which is where we're heading. Flowing along here. Beck Innovation Centre up to our left and here we are. One refueling, selection of energy sources and we're after the hydrogen which is just here. Motive, swinging around so we can get some of that and then we're going to show you how it all happens. So next trick is where do you actually have to open the fuel tank and there's a button down to the right of the steering wheel and on there it says fuel. Press that button. So press that button. I've got to turn the vehicle off first of all. So this is all the little things you've got to do. You've got to hit the power button first to turn it off. There you are. Powering down. Now you can come over here. Clud. There we go fuel is opened. So the next thing you've got to get hold of is your bank card it looks like which is the Motive Hydrogen Fuel Card and on ours we've got a pin number under my thumb. So grab that and get out the car. Open the thing and there's a little black black cap. Take the cap off and pop it onto the door like that. Right now we need to actually Let's get how to refuel. It says on here how to do it. But you come along here. We want to go for the higher pressure side, which is the 700 bar side, which is the right hand side. And you can see the gauge is now completely zero. And here's the fuel nozzle, which looks very much like a normal one. Here's the nozzle here, just unhook it, push it up, out it comes, over to the car, you then got a little catch there, you release, so push it on, then pull the trigger and you can see it's locked itself on. Then with the card, we have to come over here and put the card and first of all remember what your pin number is. In it goes, take the card, put the code in, please wait, use pump one. So pump one, it's all connected up, 
and you can see on the front here there is a start button. Press start. I'm going to try and press start again. which is pointless so let's try this is the joys of a hydrogen car for you so what we're going to do now is head on you come here it's a little catch push the catch up push the catch up here then it releases it now I can take it off but that was a dismal failure so what you have to do now is repeat the entire process all over again. Use pump one again. Two different pumps, one 350 bar, one 700 bar. It doesn't say anything on it because that would be far too useful. It's this one we need. if that gauge is going to go up. Wait for a bang hopefully. Green light flashing. We're waiting. There we go. There's the bang, and hopefully this time it's going to give us a bit more gas. Doesn't seem to be. Press start again. Ah, we're now getting... No, we've got a whole 0.2 of a kilogram in. So, uh, we're just going to spend the evening trying to do this, which is getting fairly tiresome now. Having done this about seven times, it's now finally decided to work and you can see the pressure gauge is gradually going up. I'm soaked through, so it's a lovely seamless experience, but that's the pleasure of being an early adopter. Uh, it's not like nipping to your local shell station, I can assure you. But the pressure is now going in, uh, so that means I am not sleeping in Birmingham tonight. The pressure's going up. That was still fairly pathetic, but uh, I'm going to give it one more try. So after that last fairly poor effort, the compressor has started whirring away up here. Uh, so, with a bit of luck, that might be building up a tank of hydrogen that's going to put more pressure ready to do it. So, uh, with a bit of luck, there's a vessel filling up somewhere. Let's give it a couple of minutes, enjoying the uh, pleasures of this refilling site in the rain, and see what happens. Take the pump. Take it off. Take it over to the car. Push it on then lift the lever up and it clicks so that's on and press the green and wait for the bang
Wait, there we go, there's the bank, something's happening, so we're back up. Fresh like we were before. And I'm hoping. That one is at 6,000 PSI. Really hoping it's going to get higher than that. So this is about our sixth attempt. And it is going up. Tension is building. And as the pressure goes up, also the count is going up. So we're getting there. This is looking far more promising. Creeping up. I'd like it to get to about the 700 bar. About 10,000 psi, which we're heading for now. Faith is we have scored 10,000 psi. Here the compressor's punctured again, so we've ended up with just over 700 bar, which is probably pretty good going. So we'll take that. Whoa! And then goes another nice bang just to make you jump as it releases the pressure. To release this now, we've got to press this little button in here. And the lever pops down. Now take it off. This is now really cold. It's icy cold. Don't freeze it. It's because it's been going in there. there. And that's it. There we are. We just put 39 pounds in. More than that because we've had about six loads. Uh, your accounts team will be upset because it doesn't print out receipts. Uh, but the invoice will turn up with us at some point. So there we go. Uh, got it refilled. We'll have a look inside and see how much gas we've got. Back on. Shut up. So then when you're back in the dry, you can press the power button, turn it all back on, and you get the all important bit of how much fuel have we got. And there we go, not quite full, but got enough and it's telling us we've got a range of 346 so uh, haven't got a night in Birmingham there we go